Unreal 5.5 just dropped. And it's causing quite a stir in the game development world. You probably have seen plenty of videos on why this update is such a big deal. So today we're focusing on the mind-blowing animation features that make this release a game changer. If you haven't seen all the awesome features that were brought by the 5.5 release, here they are. Although I would recommend that you go to the Unreal Engine channel and take your time watching it. I spent just three hours experimenting with these new tools and even as someone who's not a professional animator, I achieved some pretty impressive results. Plus, many of these features have moved out of the experimental phase, so they are less risky and more reliable to use in your projects. So let's dive in and see what Unreal Engine 5.5 brings to the table. For this demo, I used an asset called Cute Girl by UNF Games. You probably know them. This is available on the Fab Marketplace. To animate this, I used a popular song that YouTube wouldn't stop recommending me and had a simple enough movement that I could animate fast. If you are interested in seeing the video with its audio, check out the YouTube short linked below. But for now, let's focus on how these new animation tools can elevate your projects. Getting started is a breeze. First, with the Fab plugin already installed, I imported the character directly from the Fab window inside the Unreal Editor. Next up is the modular rig. Unreal Engine 5.5 makes rigging more intuitive than ever. By simply dragging and dropping modules like the head, spine, and legs onto the character, you can create a custom rig tailored to your needs. A feature that already existed is the ability to capture facial animations easily through a knife. As you can see, one can record and use the animation if the character has the needed bones for it. Now let's talk about Sequencer. It's a timeline where we can orchestrate all the motion in a scene. You can start by dragging a control rig asset into the level and a sequence asset will be created. Then we can add animations directly to it. While working on the animation, I encountered a challenge. The control rig was limiting the neck and head movements. But with the new snapper tool, fixing this was very straightforward. I added another character without control rig, used the snapper tool to make it follow the head's animation, and then apply the adjustments directly to the controls. Another game-changing feature is animation layers, and I have been very excited by this. This allows for non-destructive editing, meaning you can experiment without worrying about ruining your base animation. By enabling and disabling layers, you can see how different adjustments affect your character. In conclusion, the animation tools in Unreal Engine are maturing rapidly. Investing time to learn this new workflow now will prepare you for the future of game development and animation. Here are a few tips to enhance your experience. Customize your editor settings for a more efficient workflow. Setting good keyboard shortcuts will make your life easier. Use filters in Sequencer. There will be a lot of controls on it, so you might as well only display the ones that you need. Use console commands like the Anim mode pending focus mode to send shortcuts to the viewport just by hovering your mouse on top of it. No wiggle needed. And remember, it's not just animation that's evolving. Unreal Engine is pushing boundaries in all areas. So whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out, now is a great time to dive in. Thanks for watching. I'm curious to know which feature excited you the most. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're inspired and ready to take your skills to the next level, check out our action game course. It's designed to take you from a beginner to a professional, guiding you step by step through creating your own action game using Unreal Engine. And the best part? The first section is free to watch, so you can decide if our teaching style is the right fit for you. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on game development with Unreal Engine, and I will see you in the next one.